We're shaking, folks. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Bad Religion. And we're back with a tune that I can't believe I haven't reacted to yet. I looked, um, you know, I've recently taken all my punk reactions and put them into band-specific playlists. Uh, and, you know, the Bad Religion playlist I've seen is now like over 80 reactions. I think it's like 86 or something reactions. Uh, so you would think that the title track of one of my favorite albums of theirs, Against the Grain, you would think this is something that I would have reacted to already, but I keyword searched and I have not, in fact, reacted to it. So I feel a bit remiss, uh, but it's time to get to it. Uh, again, the three album run uh, Against the or sorry, uh, Suffer, No Control, Against the Grain is my favorite uh, period of the band overall. I like all their albums. I, I would even say I love all their albums. But those three, again, maybe for nostalgic reasons and that they're the first three that I discovered and they were just like, you know, they blew my mind musically and especially lyrically. But even, you know, having a larger view and trying as much as possible to remove my personal experience from the um, comparison, I do think they are probably the three best Bad Religion albums overall. And they really have a similar sort of feel, you know, different songs, of course, but I do think those three albums there's a there's a bad religion sound uh, that is on those albums especially, uh, and to a slightly lesser extent, um, Generator and uh, Recipe for Hate, which is ninety one and ninety three, I believe. Uh, in any case, or wait, is ninety two and ninety three? Because I think Against the Grain is this ninety one? Yeah, it's originally ninety one, so I think Generator must be ninety two. Uh, and yeah, this is I should mention the two thousand and four reissue of Against the Grain because eventually you know I had replaced some of my Bad Religion albums because the ones I had as a teen were just you know in and out of CD case, uh, in, in and out of car players, and then into like CD folders, and you know got a lot of scratches and fingerprints over the years. So um, years back, I replaced a number of them. Regardless, we're going to listen to Against the Grain. Um, as you may suspect, given the title, it is used as a metaphor and also, you know, uh, it's a visual motif on the, like, artwork for the album. I do also have a poster up here out of frame. Um, but yeah, it's the idea of swimming upstream. It's the idea of going against the regularities, the, the sort of conformities of larger societies and culture uh, and the one in which you are embedded sp specifically. So, um, yeah, in Greg's case and in the song's case, um, it talks about the way in which if you do begin to see the world differently than most people around you, if you do begin to pursue um, ideologies <clears throat> or activism that departs notably from the traditional or conventional way of seeing things or doing things in the society in which you live, um, you might be considered crazy even by those closest to you, even in your hometown, you know, where maybe your friends and family do value you and, you know, a lot of people are around you growing up. Uh, but as you become an adult and if you begin to express um, dissident or variant opinions, you might be so, oh, that you're just crazy. This is, you know, maybe it's just a phase, but ultimately, you know, you don't, you got to get out there and see the world. Then you'll know that everything that we've told you is totally on point. Uh, and not only that, but if you do get away from that environment and go beyond the sort of trappings of your origins, um, you might find that dissident opinions are not held in high esteem by uh, county, state, or especially federal governments. Um, the idea of being against the, the status quo, against what is often um, or historically uh, done and which is considered like the right and proper way to do things, um, you are going to raise ire, you are going to face resistance. So increasingly, if you continue to do this over time, it becomes more difficult to swim upstream. It becomes more difficult to walk against the grain. And ultimately, you will find fewer um, refuges, fewer oases in the desert, fewer people, it seems like, as the song suggests, over time. Um, there's a dearth of new ideas. There's a inability of people to um, come up with ways to counter traditional and like very powerful forces in society that want to keep things the way they are because maybe you know the people benefiting are the ones pulling the levers and um, hitting the switches and so on. Um, so yeah, it basically suggests that it becomes more difficult over time and one must be truly committed um, you know to maybe living alone, maybe um, not traversing with large communities because, you know, it's just hard to swim upstream and not a lot of people do it. But the song makes the point, I think, that it's worth it in the sense that, like, 
the, the potential of the individual to be creative, to find new ways to doing things, are often dulled and blunted by this sort of tendency or this push by large forces in society to conformity. Uh, so ultimately, you know, I think the song is saying that even if it's hard, even if you don't find a lot of other people out there trying to, you know, um, do the right thing, even if it means, you know, opposing large powerful forces at your own peril, um, it's worth it because you might find that um, while other people sort of let their life be condensed and confined and narrowed by these conforming, um, conforming forces um, that push one to just be like everybody else and to not rock the boat and to not make waves, uh, but if you're willing to do that and persist at it and try to continually um, renew yourself and not become sort of stale and ossified, um, then the real potential of sort of um, an individual's expression uh, can and creativity can come to fruition. So again, I think it's a song that celebrates those who are willing to sort of stand up to long-standing uh, traditional forces that ultimately, you know, are oppressive or um, selective and allocation and so on. Um, and that if one is willing to walk that road, hard as it may be, um, there are benefits and there is um, a beauty to that level of um, personal expression and creativity. So I'll stop talking now and we'll listen to the tune. This is Bad Religion Against the Grain from the album of the same name, 1991, though as I said, this is the 2004 reissue. <laughs> finishes to the songs which again you know this is 91 but I think this album is very much in the sort of melodic hardcore 80s style that they um, helped pioneer uh, and again it fits very much there's a lot of 80s punk tunes that they get what they're gonna get uh, front and center uh, or they get five years of breaking and enter sorry easy E verse came into my head nevertheless they say what they're gonna say very quickly very directly and then boom that's it you know there's not like a long guitar solo section and then they come back for a couple more ver like iterations of the chorus. Um, so yeah, it fits very much in a 80s style of punk rock despite being 91. Uh, and yeah, there's a reason I think this song was chosen um, as the overall um, title of the album and sort of the visual motif of the album because it fits, you know, with a lot of um, bad religion. They question long-standing religious systems and authorities. Um, they question the most oppressive um, and violent and um, let's say jingoistic aspects of government. They really challenge um, long-standing powerful forces um, as a sort of 
um, expression of their creativity and their ethos. So again, I think this song, maybe not just for this album, maybe for Bad Religion overall, is as indicative of what they are as any other song. So really cool tune. Maybe not my absolute favorite musically. You know, there are other songs that musically I enjoy more. When or I Want to Conquer the World, um, Delirium of Disorder. Uh, but ultimately, um, it is a really cool tune sonically as well, and like I said, it fits very much in this three album run, Suffer No Control Against the Grain. So, anyway, let me know what you think of the tune. I'll see you next time. Peace.